Leaders from Sudan's six neighboring countries met in Cairo on Thursday for the most high-profile peace talks since the conflict erupted across the northeastern African country in mid-April, when tensions between the military and the parliamentary rapid support forces burst into open fire. Ethiopia once again calls for, firstly, an unconditional and indefinite ceasefire. Secondly, immediate delivery of humanitarian assistance to all beneficiaries affected by the violent conflict. The summit of neighboring states aimed at reviving international efforts to contain the war. In a joint statement, leaders called on the warring parties to commit to a ceasefire, appealed to regional states not to interfere in the conflict and agreed to facilitate funneling of aid. This initiative is good, but it's a star to an extremely long journey because to move from the condition that the Sudanese people are currently in to reach safety, that will take efforts, time and resources. As mentioned before, there should be a clear mechanism with practical references. The meeting comes weeks after the failure of many diplomatic efforts to reach an end to the Sudanese war, despite the aggravation of its human and material losses, while it caused a wave of displacement as it is still ongoing. The confrontations in Khartoum are threatening to turn into a full-scale civil war in the country that could destabilize the entire region. The Rapid Support Forces and the Sudanese army have agreed to at least 10 ceasefires, many of which were brokered during the Jeddah talks. All of the truces foundered.